Hey there, what's going on? Kate McShay here, coming to you from my home office in Vancouver, Washington, and I hope you're doing well. And I just wanted to let you know that I'm going to cut a three-day video series. So this is the first day of um, the video series I'm going to be doing, and then there will be two more to follow. So just stick around our channel, subscribe to it, um, our YouTube channel, or hang around our blog if that's where you're watching it, for the next two blog posts as well as next two videos to come. Now, what I'm going to share with you today is I'm going to share with you, it's a three-day video series on on perfecting your email marketing more more um, basically helping you figure out how to get people to sit at the computer open up their email and hit the refresh button until your email pops up so they can open it and they can read it. So getting people excited, anxious, curious about what you've got going on with your life, with um, you know, with your business, with what you've got going on. Because a bunch of people will say it, the power is in your list and building your list, especially when it comes to online marketing. But I'm going to go even further and say that the power is in the relationship that you have with your list. Because if you build this crazy huge list, but you're not connecting with them and you're just pitching products all the time, then yeah, you've done a great job at learning how to generate leads and how to get people onto your newsletter, but you're not getting them to convert into sales and to create these powerful relationships where you can reach out to those people or they will reach out to you and then in turn you can help them out in some way. Because really when it comes down to it, that's what it's all about. Now, I want you to stay on this video even if right now you don't have any leads or you've generated one lead or you know, you've know you got 200 leads, 1,000 leads, whatever. Stay on this video. Um, if you don't have leads or if that's something you feel like you're struggling with, then you can click the link below. There's a link in there. Um, and you can check it out, see if that system, that's the one we use to generate 10 to 30 leads a day. See if it's a good fit for you. If it, if it is, then that's great. Sign up, we'll help you out. If it's not, seriously, no big deal and forget about it and just keep watching this video. So, so back to our first tip and I'll share with you our second and our third one in the next two videos. So first piece, the, like I said, the biggest part is building a relationship with your list. So the first step in building a strong relationship with your list is becoming a good storyteller. And what I think about when I think about good storytellers is I think of, um, of juicy details. I think of, you know, knowing the right words to say, to hook somebody in and keep some, keep someone's attention as well as kind of getting clear and getting to the point. So, so finding a way of giving juicy details that keep somebody hooked but hooked long enough to where you get to your point, not to where you're stretching it out to where somebody gets bored and, you know, they start searching through Facebook or, you know, they, they don't even get down to the bottom of your email. So here are a couple things just to think about when it comes to being a good storyteller, tell, things that you can share. Because storytelling, I mean, are think about things that are currently happening in your life that are either really cool or are really stressful to you or you know some struggles that you're having people like to hear about those actually some fears that you've had in the past struggles that you've had in the past how you've overcome them um, you know, neat things that you're currently doing, whether it's trips with your family, um, cool, cool little tip, not tips, but cool things that are going on with your kids. I know a lot of you have kids and it's always fun to hear about what's going on. If you've got a big move coming up, um, you know, which was one where we actually had someone reach out to us at an event that I was at two weeks ago. We had shared with our list that we moved from the East Coast to, from Connecticut to uh, Washington State. And she came running up to me and she said, you know, hey, how's it going? I just wanted to see how your move was, how you're settling in, um, which means that I built that relationship with her and she's connected to me and, and, and she was just curious. She wanted to know what was going on. So pretty much any kind of storytelling, just making sure you're giving some really juicy details. You want them to get hooked to, no matter what you decide to tell the story about um, in relationship with your life. Just make sure that it's something that, you know, people can see that you're human, that you're a normal person. You don't sit behind your computer all day. You don't, you know, type like crazy and, and don't connect with anybody else or nothing's happening in your life. Um, that you are just a regular normal person who's living their life having a home business, doing online marketing, affiliate marketing, network marketing, whatever you're doing. So just make sure that you are taking the time
because that's the most important part and people are going to love that about you is if your emails are purposefully sharing pieces of your life or you know problems that you are having if your system shut down we had a couple of friends who sent an email like that their system shut down for a couple of days so they were honest they they said hey sorry we haven't been around our system shut down but here's you know our email and a little bonus gift that will give you whatever so, you know, just being honest, being upfront with people, and then sharing really cool things that are going on in your life or really stinky things that are going on in your life. People just want to know more about you. They want a relationship. They want to get to know you. Because believe it or not, it's really not about your product. It's not about your, you know, how, how, how many, you know, how many wonderful things your product can do. It's actually more about you and the relationship that they build with you that makes them actually want to learn more from you and know that you're human because that's all everybody wants to know is that even successful people at some point, you know, struggle or have fears or don't do things correctly and, uh, and that makes people feel a lot more comfortable and a lot more at ease. So that's my first tip for the day, um, or for this three video series, just be a better storyteller. And obviously you've got to be a better storyteller and email your list consistently. I would say three days minimum and pick the days that you want to do, you know, Tuesday, um, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, whatever you want, but consistently do it. But I, I highly recommend at least five days a week. So really getting some information out there so people get to know you a little bit better. Okay, so that's my first tip. Look out for the next two because those ones are going to be teeny tiny little tweaks that you can build upon the first one that will get you some people replying back to you and wanting to know more. So again, Kate McShay here, and I look forward to hearing from you through your comments and also, uh, and also giving you some good juicy tips tomorrow and the day after. Take care.